Church. My name is AJ Cluck. I'm the executive director here, and this is an update on our congregational meeting, which occurred November 19th. Uh, God is moving in this place, and we had lots of discussions about uh, the different things that are happening from senior pastor transition to nominating committee, all sorts of things. So this is a video to update you on all of that. Following careful consideration, Pastor Brackage uh, prayerfully has made the decision to uh, remain in his role as the Love One Another pastor. Uh, this means that a committee, uh, including Melanie Bauer, John Grunau, and Paul Ed Owens, are going to work to build out a plan for the calling of a new senior pastor. Now, part of that includes nominations from you, the congregation. There's information going home uh, this week and will be available on Sunday for how you can submit nominations for our next senior pastor. At this time, we ask that you pray and you uh, begin praying for both our next senior pastor as well as our process uh, and pray for the congregation that that senior pastor will be coming from. Up next, we have the nominating committee. Uh, the nominating committee is made up of Carrie Matthew, Tara Scott, and Carrie Watson, who will work to find volunteers to serve in leadership positions here at Holy Trinity. These positions will be voted on in May of 2024, and they include positions on the leadership board, the elder board, and our school board. So if uh, you hear from any of these individuals and ask for you to prayerfully consider uh, serving Holy Trinity in this place, we would love to have you be a part of our leadership community. Up next, we had a recommendation from the leadership board to call Matthew Slaybaugh. Matthew is a current DCE serving in uh, Eastern Pennsylvania at Penn State University. Um, Matt is also known as the fiance of Ava Schwenninger, our current DCE. Um, the position that we are considering for Matt uh, is a position that will take on a lot of the roles that Pastor Bangard served, uh, both in our school, in our mission area, and in our outreach. And so we will be voting on the call for Matt um, at a special voters meeting, December 10th, um, Sunday, December 10th. We uh, pray that you attend that and uh, you begin praying for that process and for Matt. Um, another item discussed in new business at our voters meeting was uh, consideration for the uh, purchase and installation of a modular building to serve our school. Uh, the current um, building that is put forward is a six classroom addition, uh, which would exist right off of the gym um, in the uh, gravelly area um, on the south end of campus. Uh, this addition would help us grow our enrollment, would help us uh, move some of the spaces uh, that had been church meeting spaces uh, that have been turned into classrooms back into church meeting spaces. Um, so there's uh, work that's being continued to understand the financing for such a purchase um, or lease uh, to understand the cost for and putting utilities and landscaping and, and sidewalk and all those sorts of things. So that's still being developed, but there uh, will be a vote regarding the uh, movement on that facility on December 10th as well. Um, there were different reports um, at the meeting, uh, including the executive director report. And so uh, there was information regarding the successful golf tournament that we had. Uh, PTO um, paid for some security upgrades in the uh, church and school facility. Uh, so there were updates on those items. There was also an update from the school board um, and uh, just information on the thriving school ministry that we have. 253 students enrolled this year, an increase of 24% uh, from a year ago. Uh, we also spoke about school culture and how even though we're growing, um, our mission and our ministry inside our school um, remains the same, that we are here to make disciples who make disciples who make disciples. Uh, there was also information about the parent tax credit that came in um, and uh, the opportunity that that will uh, have lots of our families and lots of new families to be able to afford private school. Praise God for that. Our elders offered a report about what they're doing. The elders are the theological compass for the congregation. The elders are uh, working to increase their scope of, of member care, of visits, uh, in the absence of our pastoral staff. And so uh, we praise God for them, for all of the work that those men are doing, headed up by Randy Williams. Uh, there was a financial review by Eric Brantner, our treasurer. Um, Eric reported that we currently are running very close to budget for the first three months of the fiscal year. Um, last fiscal year uh, finished with um, a little bit of a deficit, but um, uh, there were good purposes and reasons for that. Um, and also he updated us on the roofing project, which is going to come out as a net zero cost uh, for all of the roofing uh, updates and upgrades that we've seen on campus. 
And finally, uh, there was an appeal by Tony White. Tony, uh, in addition to being a school security officer, also chairs our Agape Fund Committee. Now, the Agape Fund is crucial in supporting both church membership as well as the community at large um, with basic care needs, whether it be rent assistance, uh, utility assistance. Um, and, and that fund that we have um, currently only carries about $1,800. And so Tony made an appeal um, and, and asks for you to prayerfully consider donating to that fund. You can donate online uh, by choosing Agape Fund with your gift um, or by writing a check and dropping it either in the office or in the offering plate in that memo line. Just write the word Agape. Um, there's lots of things that we're going to vote on December 10th, so please be at the congregational meeting December 10th um, to consider the modular building, to consider the call to Matt Slaybaugh. Um, we would love for you to be a part of that. And there's more information coming before that meeting. We're going to have uh, small town halls both December 5th and 7th um, in Luther Commons, and uh, you'll be able to see a little bit more detail on job descriptions uh, for, for both Matt and, 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 and Ava, to be honest, because we have two DCEs, so we talked about how those things are gonna be split out, um, as well as more detail on the modular building, financing options, utility costs, installation costs, all those types of things. Um, so please join us December 5th and December 7th um, for those meetings if you would like more information. Hey, I'm so proud of our church. We've been dealt some surprises over the last few weeks and months, um, but we together will continue to work toward God's mission here. Um, this past voters meeting was such a great testament to uh, how our church functions, um, the, uh, the strength of uh, those elected people, according to our governance and bylaws, uh, who make decisions and work to inform our voters. And so it's great to see the church working in action uh, in the way that God calls us to. Um, and, and I really ask you to pray for our church. Um, the devil's working hard here. The devil's working to uh, disrupt the great things that are happening in this place. Um, but through God's providence, uh, through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, um, the Holy Trinity will continue to move forward and be a light to our community and a, a great place for our members to get to know Jesus better. God bless you. Happy Thanksgiving.